The Digital Scene Show is sponsored by NewMediaWebinars.com. Free how-to webinars for digital media creators taught by industry professionals. Check us out at NewMediaWebinars.com. Tim Dashwood, welcome to the Digital Scene Show here at NAB 2010. Hi. How are you? Good, and uh, you're the president of uh, Dashwood? Dashwood Cinema Solutions. Okay, cool, and you're also a DP, which it's I, interesting. I'm you a don't... DP first, I'm not a software developer. Okay. Uh, became a software developer out of necessity, really. Uh, we have a production company that shoots 3D. We do a lot of uh, smaller film productions, corporate uh, type work, and uh, we just needed some tools to work in Final Cut Pro. And Last year for I was here at NAB, 3D tools. Last year I was here at NAB. Uh, I was looking for solutions on Final Cut. Looked around, saw some really cool stuff, but I just didn't have the tool that I needed to do all the things that I needed to fix. And most of that had to do with disparity. So when you shoot with two cameras, you'll never get them perfectly aligned, uh, either vertically, you know, there'd be a little rotation. You know, we're using more inexpensive rigs. We're trying not to spend too much time on set actually perfectly aligning them. Right. So we wanted to fix all of that disparity in post. So I developed the tool to do that. And eventually we just decided to release it to the world. And now we're showing off version two, which is the whole collection of tools that I've been using for a few months. And we're doing a digital uh, preview here of some of the uh, the new elements to the new plugin suite. Now this is this is a tool set that you need for, for example, Panasonic has a new 3D camera. That's now right. is this something that can help that or is it more for the the, the types that you said where you're yeah. you're doing it more of the low end? Well Panasonic came to us and basically asked how we could support the camera. And uh, the first thing you see when you look at this camera, it's, it's an ABC cam camera. So the files it produces are MTS files, which obviously cannot be used directly in Final Cut Pro. They have to be um, transcoded into something like ProRes. Right. So what we're doing is we're developing an app. It takes those MTS, and so you get a separate left and a separate right for each uh, take that you have. So we wrap them in MOV using uh, Divergent Media's technology. So we can uh, access Divergent Media's technology, wrap them in MOV, and then make stereo pairs that are reference quick times. Now with those reference quick times, this can all happen very quickly because at this point we haven't actually transcoded. We have a new quick time file, it's dual layer, and it can be played on a MacBook Pro, you can use the DVI out, send it to your 3D monitor, and on set before the gaffer is even striking the first light, uh, you've got your uh, camera assistant already showing the director some dailies. So that's step one. Step two is we take those reference files and we can just drag them into compressor, use distributed processing, and put them into whatever codec they need to be in. So we can put, put them into ProRes or whatever right. you like working with. Um, so this is outside of Final Cut, you do that? This is step outside, one. yeah. This is just a, a, the, the prep. Right. Uh, and the other thing that we do is when we create these stereo pairs, the way the Panasonic camera labels the files is it starts every left file with a zero and right file with a one. It's really simple. So we just look at the folders and we batch process everything. Our software knows what is a left and what is a right. It just figures it out on its own. It creates new files with the same numbers, but now they start with the letter S. So we're working with files that start with the letter S, meaning stereo pair. Mm. And so we can go all the way through post-production with those. And we can even output in those. They're, they're side by side squash, so they're really 960 by 1080 per eye. But if you want to do full raster conform back to 1920 by 1080, uh, what we're previewing here is an XML translator. So we'll export an XML or a final cut. Our XML translator will look at all the plugin settings that you've uh, made. So if you've readjusted convergence and right. keyframed the convergence, it will understand that and put it back into basic motion parameters that any any NLE that can understand XML will understand. So now you'll end up with a, a left and a right file, uh, separate sequences. And now you can export them through AIF. You can go to Smoke. Pablo, uh, Resolve, you know, wherever you want to go, you're set. You, you're open now, and you're in basic motion parameters. Right. The only thing we can't put into a list like that is is keystone correction. You know, any 2D geometric transformation, that's no problem. 
Uh, but that's that's the only limitation in using that method. And what's the cost of the plugin? We have two flavors of the plugin. So the actual suite, the whole plugin suite, is fourteen ninety nine. Okay. And that includes a uh, text generator, a parallax guide generator, the geometry plugin, the image balance plugin. Uh, we have a consumer monitor plug-in, so if you have a like a Zalman type monitor or something that isn't quite 1920 by 1080, say 1680 by 1050, we can support that monitor now. But the the thing we're really excited about is what we're calling the ghost toaster. So that eliminates crosstalk in circular polarization. And apparently it even works with the uh, the shutter glass, the flicker glasses as well, the active shutters. Uh, so you're always going to get some light leakage in right. high contrast images from the right to the left. And so what we do is we pre-process the left and right eyes to create basically a hole where that highlight is going to come over to the other side, and when it fills the hole, that ghost goes away. So you don't see a double image for highlight for highlights. I see, and that's included in that package. That's said. included in that package. Now, the second flavor of Stereo 3D Toolbox is Stereo 3D, Stereo 3D Toolbox LE. That's the limited edition version. Right. So we're releasing that for $99. Okay. And that is for hobbyists. For guys who have a couple cameras, want to go out, shoot some material, you know, shoot their kids, shoot their, their sister's wedding, whatever, they'll, what they'll get is they'll be able to input a side-by-side -side or discrete left and right from their two cameras. They'll get uh, basically vertical disparity correction, convergence adjustment, rotational disparity, and zoom disparity correction. Right. So for a consumer, consumer camera, if you zoom in, you try to get the two zooms right. at the same level. So you can adjust that if they're not quite right. And uh, and then the, our auto scale feature, which people love, because once you've made an adjustment, you get some black borders. You just click a button scale and it, it just scales it up to get rid of those borders. And then we can output from that LE version just an anaglyph or side by side or side by side cross view. And of course, you can upload. And it's side by side or side by side cross view to YouTube. Add the YouTube uh, the YT 3D tag, and now you can share your creation with your friends and family on YouTube. And you've only spent ninety nine dollars on this little plugin. That's very cool. Now, uh, one last question because we're running uh, out of time here. Sure. Is uh, for anybody getting into 3D, right? Um, and they're not uh, hobbyists, but they're not Hollywood either. In between corporate. You know, yes. um, what do you recommend? Where should they Where should they start? Go to your local library because this book is not in print anymore. But find Lenny Lipton's books, The Fundamentals of 3D Stereoscopic Filmmaking. I think that's what it's called. It's the Fundamentals book. That's considered the Bible of 3D. But then the other book you should get is Bernard Mendebro's book, 3D Movie Making. And this book you can find on Amazon. It's it's available everywhere. Uh, Bernard works for DreamWorks Pictures, and he, he works in the animate, does animation right. for stereoscopic, and his book is just uh, just brilliant. So it's it's also a good, very good introduction into into 3D. Very cool. Any resources on the web you want to send? Uh, tell people on about on the web. Uh, if you go to our website, yeah, go ahead. Tell us your URL. Um, so it's stereo3dtoolbox.com. Okay. We'll take you directly to that that product set and then uh, for whatever product you happen to have you will have tutorials and, and in the tutorials I actually talk quite a bit about 3D actually 3D shooting and how to fix certain things so it's not just on the software side sure. um, you know a lot of people have told me to actually learn a bit about shooting from reading about posts definitely and, uh, and listening to our, our tutorials so fantastic Tim thank you so much for your time thank you